Hello and welcome to a L-Spec PQ Skater Sapphire training video. Today is part two of our overview plane uh, training video. Last one, if you'll remember, we went over how to put your meters on your map, how to make interfaces, and how to customize your data streams. So what we're going to cover today is the second part of the overview map, which is um, using CAD drawings or pictures to do the same thing. And this is going to be geared a lot towards one lines, towards industrial customers, um, or anywhere, maybe solar fields, where you have multiple meters in a small area. And rather than doing street view or anything, you can just upload a one line and use it that way. Okay, so the very first part on how we start this, we go to our systems tab, we click on our server, and then we click on line diagram. And as you can see, I have a couple of schematics already up in here, but we're going to add one, so we're going to click the plus, and then browse to where you have it stored. You can change the name here at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and call this a demo. Click upload. You'll get the operation succeeded. Done. Go back to your overview. And right here, this one is the geographical map which we're currently on. This is the line diagram. So you select it. And here at the drop-down menu, you select the one you want to go to here. So now that we have it loaded, we have just a simple, uh, just a simple diagram here. So to add your parameters to this, you hover over and select with a right click the object you're, you're adding it to, add or remove parameters. And then you just choose, okay, this is my DFR. And I want to look at phase one voltage and phase one current. Okay. Let's get this over here. It's a little big there. So to adjust the font, you go back to your object, right click. Now you can add or remove parameters hide the connecting line or select font size and we're going to drop this down to one which is the smallest you can go so now i'm showing that i have 37 amps on phase one 237 volts on phase two and i could add here and here and so i could actually see um, all my three phase parameters in this one area okay if I want to get rid of, same thing is I could go in here and remove parameters and remove any of these just by Xing it out right here. And then once I'm done, I want to make sure to save changes. So this will maintain its presence on this one diagram. So if I had multiple areas, I could have a diagram that would have real time data all over it. Okay. Now the second type of line is a picture. So I brought in this one earlier. It's a wind farm, transmission line, transformer, and this is the DFR that's monitoring um, this particular point. Right clicking doesn't work on this one. So we go to configure map, DFR, drag it and drop it on the place. We'll hide our components, parameters, active power, apparent power, reactive power, frequency, they're all here. So we could add or remove any of those at any time. We can click on active power, show a small chart, remove the chart, go to the device's website, uh, tell us, you know, we're recording data, our status is good, our power quality status is okay, we don't have any violations currently. Um, and so now, 
if you just have just a simple just a drawing or or a satellite map perhaps um, as well a satellite picture of your facility you can do the same thing uh, where you drag and drop and then of course you know save changes once you're done so in conclusion there's two different ways to bring drawings or schematics in here to add to that um, this is uh, you can do a CAD, a CAD drawing with uh, actual objects embedded in it. You attach the parameters to those objects. Or you can do just a simple drawing and you just drag and drop your device um, to that drawing um, or picture or uh, whatever you're choosing to use. Uh, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keeps you up to date on all of our videos. Connect with us on LinkedIn and like us on Facebook. Have a great day.